Our first two performers for tonight will be signing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Please welcome Miss Marley Moore, a second grader at Westdale Heights, and Monet Temple, a first grader at LSU Lab School. Our next performers for tonight will be collaborating to perform Silent Night for Us. Please welcome Jerry Walker, an eighth grader at Northwestern, Jordan Otis, a freshman at Leisure High, and Deontay Price, a freshman at Madison Preparatory Academy. Dreams 
from heaven above heavenly hosts sing hallelujah Christ the Savior's born Christ the Savior performance will be by Miss Michaela Ross, a junior at Baton Rouge Magnet High School, who will be performing It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes aglow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A pair of hop along boots and a pistol that shoots is the wish of Barney and Ben. Dolls that will talk and won't go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go And the thing that'll make them ring Is the doors that you see Right within your heart It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Soon the bells will start And the thing that'll make them ring Is the carol that you sing Right within your heart Hi. And now we have the next performer, Journey Smith, a sophomore at Lee Magnet High, who will be singing the Christmas song, You Better Sing. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. 
your tight carols being sung by a choir folks dressed up like Eskimos everybody knows that a turkey and some mistletoe to make the season bright tiny tides with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight they know that Santa on his way he's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh and every mother's child is gone to spy to see if reindeer really know had fly and so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one to nine to performer for tonight is John Perkins, a junior at Zachary High School, who will be performing for us the first Noel.
Our next performance piece will be by Zaria Sims, a senior at Baton Rouge Magnet High School. Our next performers for tonight will be Brielle Self, who is a freshman at Howard, Brianna Self, who is a sophomore at Tulane, and Brittany Self, who is a first year at Southern University Law Center. <laughs>
time, they will now be joined by Brennan Self, who is a fourth grader at Shenandoah.
Our next performer of the evening will be former president of the Louisiana Leadership Institute, Joe Hillard, singing Mary, Did You Know?
Happy holidays to everybody. Are y'all ready for that Christmas, huh? Well, my name is Kenny Neal, and uh, I'm very proud to that uh, Leo gave me a call. We homeboys from way back. I moved here a couple of years ago from uh, Palo Alto, Canada, I mean, uh, California, and um, it's a pleasure to be back here and get the chance to work with the young kids. Um, we also have a company called, I mean, a foundation called Kids Rock the Nation, where we go around the country and give guitars out. I gave a bunch out here at the Blues Festival last year. But I'll be working with the kids over here, so um, we're going to get the word out. Because we have a lot, a lot of talent here, and I'm happy to be home just for that, to work with the young kids. Um, my family been playing around here for years, the Neal family, and uh, I'm very proud of them. And I did a CD this year called um, Bloodline. If you get a chance, get home, check it out. And it got me a nomination for a Grammy this year, so we walked the red carpet. Yeah. And it also won CD of the year, so let's keep Louisiana and Baton Rouge on the map in a good way. Now, I don't know about some of the kids, but I told some, some lady, uh, Miss uh, Williams asked me, say, you gonna play for the kids? I say, well, I'm gonna play for the kids, but uh, mostly for the old folks in here. <laughs> I told her, I'm gonna play for you. Yeah, now. This is the stuff that I, I brought up when I was a little kid. I used to hear on the, on the jukebox, 45 records, and it goes something like this. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Bought me a diamond ring for Christmas Feel like I'm in paradise Got sweet music on my radio. Feeling mighty fine. I got sweet music on my radio. I'm gonna hug you and kiss you pretty baby Standing between those mistletoe
chimney Half past three Left all them pretty presents, y'all For the baby and for me Merry Christmas, baby You sure did treat me nice Bought me a diamond ring for Christmas Feel like I'm in paradise Oh yeah Happy holidays, Jay Put your hands together right here, y'all. Get on into the spirit right now. I'm gonna do it like this. Ah. Christmas time, I come but once a year. Oh, I'm getting ready to have my silver ball. It takes the next six months to pay them bills. Every time I think about it, give me chill. But I don't care. Christmas time come once a year. Folks and friends are the only one. Whoa, I'm getting ready to have my. A New Year's Day, and I don't care what I have to pay. Let the good time roll. Christmas time come on.
that's what I'm talking about. Anybody remember them songs? Okay, I'm going to do a short one, and then I got two kids that I'm representing tonight, and you're going to be very, very proud of them. I tell you what, I'm going to get my, uh, my nephew wanted to do a song. Darren, come on up here. We'll take it away for a little moment for the Christmas. But he said, Uncle Kenny, can I do a song? I said, yeah. So let's give it up to Darren. It's a new generation coming up, y'all. I had a special request to do this one, and we're gonna move on, but I, I'm sure y'all remember these songs around the house during the Christmas holidays.
Neal on the bass, Michael Harris on drums, Leroy on the keys. Thank you so much. Next up is Miss Shalir Self, who will be singing Oh Holy Night and White Christmas. Orlando. bring Brendan up. He's going to help me do this little fun song, White Christmas. I know like the news has been talking about it may snow on Christmas. I don't know if that's still a thing, but I want it to snow on Christmas, so I'm going to wish it with this song. <laughs> Dreaming of a white Christmas 
Brendan Guerin, a former 12th grade representative of the Institute, singing This Christmas. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all gonna liven up a little bit? We gonna wake it up a little bit, all right? Y'all good? <laughs> Miss Latangela Faye Sherman. Hello, family. Everybody doing all right? Uh-uh, crowd participation is everything. Everybody doing all right? Y'all put your hands together for these babies. They grow so fast. And on the count of three, mom, dad, mama, papa, auntie, uncle, y'all can say, that's my baby. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 
I said on the count of three. She didn't even let me get to one. One, two, two and a half, three. Yeah, they make us so proud. And thank you so much. Mr. Fields, where are you? Mr. Fields? Mr. Fields? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And everybody who works so hard and diligently behind the scenes here at Louisiana Leadership Institute to make this happen. Hey, babies. So if you know the words, you can sing on, hey, Uncle Kenny. Hey, Auntie. <laughs> if you know the words. As a matter of fact, you know what? I feel so incomplete without you. Could you do me a favor, please? I, I'm sure you know the words, and if not, we're just gonna make them up as we go. Come on up here with me, please. Please, y'all say, come on, Uncle Kenny. Come on, Uncle Kenny, it's a family reunion. Can I borrow a microphone from somebody? Thank you. And these announcers, well, let me tell you something, they still in my job. I see you. <laughs> Yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight.
Lord for everything that you do here for us. And, you know, we just, where are the kids? Where are the kids? Can I borrow them for three seconds or less? One, two, three. I need you for two seconds. Come on. Come see. Come see. Come see. Come see. Come see. Now go ahead and tell everybody your name. My name is Journey Smith. Journey Smith has been in the back announcing. Have you been paying attention to the announcements? Now coming to the stage, we have, she's been doing an amazing job. Y'all tell her thank you. Hi, baby. Give us your name. Brennan. You know, she's been here for our new program. We're doing a broadcasting program, and it's for Louisiana Leadership Institute Team Talk. And when I tell you, she has a lot to say about a lot of things going on. Who from the mouths of babes? I'm not even going to give her the mic tonight because she will let you know. <laughs> Hello, give us your name. Marley. Marley, darling. Are you having fun tonight? Yes. Good, just checking, just checking. Hi, give us your name. Monet. Now, Monet, tell us your favorite part about Louisiana Leadership Institute. That everybody gets to spread the spirit of Christmas and sing. I love it. I love it. From the mouths of babes. So now you see why all of your love, support, and dedication is always needed. And we appreciate you so much. And I'm going to turn this back over to our... Well, I have my announcer up here, but she forgot her announcements, so I'm going to let her get her announcements. And then we're going to put her back to work. Then we're going to finish enjoying the show. Oh, yeah? What happened to the crowd participation? Oh. Then we're going to get back to enjoying the show. Oh, yeah? yeah. There we have it. You yeah. know what, as a matter of fact, Ben? Wait, what, how do they say it? Get a drummer song. Well, uh, there we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, y'all gotta come on, come on. <laughs> At this time, we're gonna bring up the current president of the Louisiana Leadership Institute, Casey Williams. Hi, everybody. Are y'all having a good time? Well, we want to thank you for coming out. And on behalf of leadership, we thank you for coming and supporting us. And this is our first annual Christmas college concert. And we plan to do this every year to raise money for the Louisiana Leadership Institute college students. So thank you, and please come again next year. And now Mr. Fields will come up and tell you a little bit more. Thank you. All right, give me some lights. Lights, lights. We've been working on this for a whole week. Lights, <laughs> lights, thank you. All right, let me uh, just say thank you so much. Let's give these young people a big round of applause. They, uh, they're just absolutely fantastic. Let me uh, first introduce the chairman of the Louisiana Leadership uh, Board of Directors, Mr. Ben Jeffers, uh, and the lady who runs the Louisiana Leadership Institute, Ms. Jocelyn Cooks. Where's Ms. Cooks? Stand up, Ms. Cooks. Thank you very much. And I would be remiss if I didn't introduce my beautiful wife, Deborah Fields. Deborah, please stand. Y'all got to give her a bigger hand than that. All right. All right, let me, what I would like to do, uh, we told the kids, we said, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a, because all the college kids, they come home for Christmas. And we wanted to raise money for them so that they could uh, have a good Christmas. And so all the leadership kids got together and they said, all right, we're going to do a Christmas concert. And then we got Mr. Amos to agree to come and play music with his whole group. Let's give Mr. Amos. Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much, man. I appreciate y'all. And then I called Kenny, and I said, Kenny, will you come and help out? Kenny said, I'll fly in. He got caught in Atlanta airport when it was, what, eight hours on the plane, just sitting on the plane. Let's give Kenny Neal. Really appreciate you coming. And then the person who actually uh, is starting the choir, and uh, we're going to multiply our music program here so we have a gentleman by the name of Mr. Self, Barry Self. Barry, Barry, thank you so much. And now I would like the, uh, the Southern University Band Director who is also now the Assistant Band Director at Leadership because he appointed uh, someone else to be the Band Director so I want uh, the band, where is he? Is he still here? All right. 
and I want him to come up uh, and miss the Cedric, Se- Se- huh? Tedric, huh? Taylor. And Mr. Taylor, who he has appointed as the leadership band director, let's get both of them to come up. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Tedrick, don't, I mean, Taylor, you don't want to come up. That's all right. That's okay. You don't have to. Just need y'all to help me a little bit. All right, but um, the Louisiana Leadership Marching Band uh, is like the icon for the leadership program. And let me tell you something. When they march, they march like 250. They practice 300. And let me tell you, they put on a show. And it is a feeder program to Southern University. And that would not be possible without this man here and all the gentlemen he, and ladies he's going to introduce who are band directors at the various high schools. Let's give it up to all the high school band directors who helped Louisiana Leaders to Band. Uh, stand up, high school band director. I don't, come on, come on, come on. Now, this is not everybody, but uh, this is some of them. They were in here before. Uh, we have Miss, we call him a tombo, Louis Smith. Raise your hand. Mr. Cedric Todd. Mr. Anthony Collins. I don't want to say your name. What's your real name? Maurice. We call him something else. <laughs> we got Charles on the back wall over the drum section. Come on, help me out. That's not what we call you, though. Yes. We got Jason Jones, who's been here since day one. Charles as well. And then uh, Javon Pollard from Bel Air High School. And we have plenty more as well, but this is who came out tonight. Thank you, fellas, for coming out and support. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Hamer. And let me, now we're going to get to what we're here for tonight. Uh, I kind of tricked the kids. We started, we sold tickets, and all of you bought tickets for $10. And I said, listen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell these tickets, and the tickets, the money will go to the, the uh, college students. And they all sold tickets. And let me tell you, the person who sold the most tickets that I know of, and the president, come up, she's been keeping account of everything, was Devante? Was it Devante? Yeah, Devante Price. Devante Price. Where's Devante? He's going to sing something to close us out. $300 worth of tickets. Over $300 worth of tickets. Now, here is, I'm going to trick them because see, the president and I talked about it. I had them to sell tickets because I wanted you to give them $10. And, and y'all did. And so that money goes to the kid who sold the tickets. So tonight, all the kids who sold tickets, that's their Christmas gift. They get their money. So congratulations to you. And you think, think Mr. Amos and his band, and you think Kenny and his band. You choose the two you want. He wanted to do two at $500 a piece. And so he said, I want that kid who's at uh, uh, Wiley College, Lorenzo Sepp. So Lorenzo, come forward. Where's Lorenzo? $500 from attorney Gail McKay. Hey, I need representative. Come on up. Uh, need my state representative. Both of my state representatives are here, I think. My state rep. Come on up. Let's give him a big round of applause. My state representative. Did she leave? Where Denise? She left us? Okay, all right. Yeah, I want him to stay on stage. Oh, Senator Barrow here? Where's the senator? Senator, come on up. Come on up, Senator. All right, next one from Gail McKay. Come on up, Senator. Let's give our Senator Edmund Jordan and Senator Barrow. And then uh, Gail said, I said, we got, she, he said, you have a student at Southern University Law School? I said, yes. And so he said, I want to give another $500 to the student at Southern University Law Center. And you can announce who that is. Let her come up. That's Ms. Brittany Ray Self. All right, then I went to this other guy and I had to stop. I didn't have to go any further. Uh, I stopped at a, a friend of mine, his name is Jim Bernhardt. He owns uh, Bernhardt Capital. 
And uh, I gave him the list, and he just kept writing checks and kept writing checks, kept writing checks. And I didn't stop him. I let him write checks. <laughs> he made my job easier, easy. And so uh, the first person I said, this guy graduated from UL. And uh, he sung tonight. He think he's a real uh, uh, entertainer. Introduce him, $500. Mr. Sean Harris, come forward. Sean was supposed to play tonight, and he didn't. And he won't. I don't know if Anthony came. Did Anthony Kennedy make it? All right. All right, we're going to cash this check. I can't believe a college student didn't show up tonight. Oh, Amber, the next person is a student at uh, Southeastern Louisiana. University. Uh, she uh, may not be here tonight because her mother may be here, but she may not because she had to work. And Mr. Bernhardt gave her a check for five hundred dollars. That is Amber Galloway. Uh, any representative of Amber Galloway, please come forward. All right. Uh, and then next, this guy is at Morehouse College. Morehouse College, I give you the honors. He's at Morehouse College, he's majoring in engineering. Wow. Mr. Thomas Hilliard. $500. And he kept writing checks. Edmund, he made my job so easy. I was gonna make about three or four stops. I didn't have to, so that's good. Uh, the next person is a student also at uh, Southeastern, majoring in early childhood education. I don't know if she's here tonight. Ms. Detoria, is it Dugan? Dogan. 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 All right, my eyes are bad. Ms. Dogan. And by the way, Amber is majoring in kinesi kinesiology. Kinesiology. Had a hard time pronouncing that one. And, uh, and then next, he wrote another check to a person that's at Spelman College. And she flew in for the uh, holidays. That'll be Miss Rachel Otis. Come forward, please. lady who sung tonight, she is just absolutely awesome. Um, she sung and she's a student at Southern University. A student at Southern University and she has a check for $500 as well. Miss Shalyric Self. Shalyric. We start talking about the self, you just can't stop. Just self, 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 self. All right, and the next student is from, um, is at um, Tulane University, Tulane University, uh, and in fact, she's a recipient of the Ted James um, Legislative Scholarship, and you can introduce her. Ms. Brianna Self. And then the next person is uh, another self. <laughs> but she decided to go way, way away, as far away from her dad and mom as she could. And so she went all the way to Howard University. All the way from Howard University, Ms. Brielle Self, come forward, please. And then, last of the Bernhardt scholarships 
or Christmas gifts. We're going to call them Christmas gifts. <laughs> I'm going to tell you all this, but don't get mad at me. It was funny because I said, I need you, I need five, I need you to write a check for $500 for these kids. He, you know, choose who you want. And he said, and you wrote the first check. And don't get upset with me, but I said, no, 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 because I'm going to hold that for the scholarship banquet. He wrote the first check for $5,000. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. You're not going to get that spoiled. Hadn't even graduated. <laughs> Y'all got to be. All right, the next one. The next person uh, is a person who thinks he's an entertainer, but he is somewhat of an entertainer. He's from Southern University. He graduates in May, I think. He graduates in May. Mr. Brendan Gearing, come forward. Yeah. All right. And I left one right. Well, I'm going to get it, but I'm going to call it anyway. There's a young lady who moved from UL and then she went to Alcorn University. And I'm gonna introduce her myself. Uh, she was an officer, she was a vice president at the Louisiana Leadership Institute, and I just love her to death. Uh, Ms. Talia Davenport, let's give it up for Talia. <laughs> just gonna give our Amish. I left her is right in that little thing right there. And that's, Anthony didn't show up. We're going we're gonna to take care of Anthony. And in fact, Anthony was the one that was for 5000 <laughs> No, it's not for $5,000. I, I changed that. Tulia Davenport, yours is down. over there. OK. Yeah, just hold it, but hold that. Hold that. <laughs> just hold it. Yeah, hold your arm below. OK. You got your money. All right, and I think that's it. Oh, no, I have uh, Oh, I got it in my pocket. There's another kid. This one here came from the Louisiana Leadership Institute. He's at uh, Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech. He played basketball for the Louisiana Leadership Institute. And now he decided to go all the way to Countryville, Louisiana. I guess he knew who he is because he's coming forward already. <laughs> Nicholas Kauf. All right, and before I introduce these last two, uh, I want a very special person to come on stage, Joe Hillard. Will you please come on stage? I don't have a scholarship for you, but, and she don't want one either. Joe did something that's, that was very special. It really touched my heart, and that's what I want all these young people to do. I want you to use her as an example. Uh, for the last scholarship banquet, we have a scholarship banquet for our seniors every year. And at the last scholarship banquet, uh, she gave me a note, and I was so busy I didn't pay attention to what it was, and I read it afterwards and it just really touched me and it really I dropped one or two amber one or two tears because she's the first student to actually graduate from the Louisiana Leadership Institute and have decided to institute her own scholarship fund and so I am just uh, come on up Joe say a little bit about what you're doing and she just started a scholarship fund she wanted to be in STEM uh, for two kids each year Hi, everybody. Um, I just graduated, well, I graduated from ULM in May, and um, I'm a nurse at Lane. And STEM is like a really important field um, for both men and women, and leadership had done so much for me as far as getting me through school, uh, has been really, really important in my life and my growth and development, and just seeing how blessed Daddy Cleo is and everything that he, I call him Daddy Cleo, sorry. <laughs> That's been like since 10th grade. Seeing how blessed he is and just everything he does for people and how he gives just so open-heartedly, um, it had really inspired me to do the same and I really just wanted to pay it forward because leadership had been so influential in my life. So um, God just kind of put it on my heart to come back and give one senior boy and one senior girl who will be majoring in a STEM field in college um, $500 a piece. And as the years go by, oh thanks. <laughs> As the years go by, I hope that I will have like more contributors and be able to make it, you know, even more because I definitely can't write a $5,000 check. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. 
All right, thank you so much. Stay right there, Joe. Next, I'm going to call my wife up, Deborah. This has nothing to do with Bernhard or Gail McKay. Deborah, you want to come up? Uh, these two are two individuals who we've known for a long time. And uh, one was supposed to perform the night, but did not. And I was going to hold their money. But uh, Deborah and I decided to, you know, we try to make them a part of leadership because they always think that they're just like too busy for everything. Uh, but we're proud of our two boys. They're both in college as well. Uh, one is at Chapman University uh, in California, and with all those fires, I get real nervous, Kenny. Amos, I get nervous. But uh, Christopher Fields, where's Christopher? <laughs> Look, on the phone. Isn't that something that goes through? <laughs> Christopher Fields, $500 from your mom and dad. Didn't sell one ticket. Not one. Uh, next one, uh, he's a uh, freshman in college at uh, Tulane University in law school, law school Tulane Law School. Uh, where is he? Brandon Fields. Brandon? Is he? Brandon Fields. Uh, you get your mom and dad $500 as well. At the end of the day, listen, parents, education is so expensive. And there is nothing better you can do than to invest in these kids' education. And I just want to thank, look at this. This just, this makes me feel good. These are all college students. Proud of y'all. Hope y'all had a good time. We're going to leave with one thing, Kenny. One thing I want, because I got to have this before I leave. I want, uh, where is, where is uh, the $300 man who sold all the tickets? I want you to just a cappella, just sing. I was born <laughs> by the river. And then after that, Kenny, can you close us out with this? I, 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 my son, I, I'm going to tell on him, we were riding around today doing a little Christmas shopping, and he said, will you please turn that off? You done played that bloodline. Can you just do that one time? <laughs> I love bloodline, man. All right, well, thank y'all. Let's give these young people a big round of applause. Thank y'all very much. Talia, don't you leave. Uh, tonight, I got something for you. I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, and just like the river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. It's been too hard living. But I'm afraid to die Cause I don't know what's up there Beyond the sky It's been a long, long A long time coming But I know a change gon' come, oh, yes, it will. I go to the movies, and I go downtown. But somebody keep on telling me, don't hang around. It's been a long, long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Then I go to my brother. And I said, brother, help me please. But he winds up 
knocking me back down no my knees oh there's been times that i thought i wouldn't last this long but now i think i'm able to carry on it's been a long a long time coming but i know a change gonna come oh yes it will Give him a big hand, y'all. This song here I wrote, uh, I wrote thinking about the family. That's why I call the CD uh, Bloodline. And it's a little bit about me growing up. With my grandpa, my grandma, and my dad, Ray Neal. Okay, Cleo, we do it like this. This is the one that took us to the Grammy. was a preacher, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Daddy sang the blues, and the bloodline flowed through me. Grandpa died, daddy gone, now I'm here to carry on bloodline. All the young ones come along, I got to pass it on, bloodline. Blues bloodline run deep, I got the blues from my head to my feet. Grandma put me on the morning bench, I had to jump up and begin to sing, glory. Hallelujah. Grandma used to pray all along. I love to sit and listen to a moaning groan. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Something like this, y'all. Let me hear you. 
bloodline New Orleans Bloodline Port Allen Right across that river, y'all Irvinville Bloodline Hey, Cleo, this makes me think about Ray Ford. that bloodline I say I was raised up on Jimmy Reed and Ray Neal <laughs> yeah. cornbread collard greens and black eyed peas yeah yeah that's what I'm talking about yeah. I took my first bath y'all Muddy water. That's the Mississippi over there, y'all. I see bloodline. Bloodline. You know what? My mama told me a story. How she planted the seed. You know how she did that? When she rocked me in the cradle, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. She sang the blues to me. Mm -hmm. Blues bloodline run deep. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bloodline. Everybody. Yeah. 